life in the WWE. It's not a job for the fragile. This definitely is the toughest job I've ever had. I mean, we're on the road 250 days plus. And we travel all the time. Or a career for the week. I've been on the road for a week and a half, and I've probably been to eight cities. Maybe, no, Brooklyn, so this is number nine. The schedule is pretty grueling. You know, we have over 320 live events every year. And we are live 52 weeks a year, every single Monday night. It's, um, it's challenging. Here, we don't have an off season. I'm lucky enough that I have my twin sister in the business and my husband, Daniel Bryan. And the fact that I get them and get to travel with them is nice, because you don't. You don't get to see your family. I have two children, a 10-year-old and an 8-year-old son, that I, uh, I, I miss dearly on the road. Back here, like a lot of the guys are like our brothers and they're protective over us, they like to have fun with us. You got people that you like, people you don't like, people you want to hit. One minute and the next minute you guys are, you know, over uh, getting ready to go watch a movie together. All of us divas are so close, we're friends, we're exchanging clothes and just like fun stories, but we are literally one big family back here. It would be easy to compare the WWE to the circus coming to town but no one ever cheered for a lion tamer like this. Oh my gosh, our fans are insane, and I love it. They have so much energy. They, they react, they chant with us, they cheer, they boo, they're loud, they're involved. Every time they come to a show, whether it's a live event or a TV event, they just, they're so happy to be there. And every time I walk to the ring, I feel their energy and I'm just like, wow, this is what you get addicted to. Yet among the craziness, the WWE expands their family in the month of October. During the month of October, all of our flagship programming goes pink. We literally turn everything pink. I remember when the NFL started doing the pink. I thought it was so neat, and I thought it was just really cool how the guys, I mean, come on, masculine men in pink. I was actually the first guy to wear pink trunks in the, in the, even before this campaign was launched. We actually turn our middle ring rope pink. We utilize our stage as pink. The commentator's booth is pink. In addition, we have superstar branded merchandise branded with Hulkamania goes pink, John Cena goes pink, the Bella Twins go pink. It's really all of our top performers and superstars. And that co-branded merchandise, as well as all of WWE merchandise, have a percentage that goes directly to Susan G. Komen. The Courage Conquer Cure campaign is very personal to some. I lost my grandmother in 1993 to breast cancer. My aunt was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer, and it didn't run in any of our families. None of us really were aware of it, and um, that really hit home. But when you do see that NFL, and now you're seeing WWE bringing awareness, I'm realizing like, yes, I'm 30 years old, but women are getting breast cancer at 30. They're getting it at 20. And you know, you really have to get checked. Probably one of the, the best feelings for me, knowing that now I can help fight us something that, that I lost a family member to. It's just really special because I just feel like it's the first time that everyone is together wearing the same color, supporting the same thing. And Susan G. Komen gives us the ability to make a real difference. Early detection saves lives. And if we can raise enough money, if we can raise enough awareness, we can help find a cure.